I'm Sir Tap Tap, and 3D Methods presents Inside the Void. This is another one of those exploration games slash walking sims. Why are you not the 1080s of the P's? Okay, now it's 1080p, I, I guess. No mouse smoothing. Um, right. Whee! Starship. Stardate 4. We've entered a blank void. My mouse cursor is invisible. Not sure if we're going to hold on. Incoming message. Commander, we have sighted alien structures on a remote planet. Several of our observation craft have been sent to investigate the structures, but all communication between the crew has been lost. We need you to investigate the planet and search for lost operatives. We have relayed the coordinates directly to your craft. Good luck. Whee! Ooh! Now this this is a craft. Yeah, I saw the art style, and I just immediately knew I had to play this. Ooh, it's like... What a roomy little, like, shuttle pod. Oh, we're landing. Ooh, that's a little disorienting. All right. We got some nice little bl blurp things. I'm going to go say hi to this blurp thing. Oh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? That thing has numbers on it. All right, we're going to get this. Is there... Did I just, like, bounce? Okay, there is a run button. Entry log one. We have discovered numerous alien structures on this planet. We will begin to conduct experiments to determine their operation and origin. So I assume I inspect all the little thingers. I'm, that was weird. I wasn't holding jump, but I bounced anyway. We initially thought the structures were completely inoperative, but after being transported inside one, we discovered something fascinating. The structure is contained in nearly endless void. The purpose and function of the voids remains a mystery. Well, way to spoiler... Way to... Whoa. Way to spoil things. Hello, void. How are you doing? Oh, this feels... Kind of like that. If you get the bad ending of Half-Life 1 and there's all those grunts, alien grunts, staring you down. Kind of feels like that. Oh, this is, this is a Stardust log, or an entry thingy. We have attempted to relay our findings back to Command HQ, but the structures seem to be blocking our signal. Is this another one, or is this the same log? You know, is it one of those loopy things? We'll find out in exactly two seconds. We have identified that each void contains a center core. Reaching the core can provide answers to the purpose of the void. Okay. I kind of figured the point was go to the center, but whatever. Thanks, log. Oh, we just got head crabs. It kind of looked like that thing had lips. I'm not the only one seeing that, anyway. Yeah, you definitely do a little bit of a bounce sometimes. Yeah, I just I, I saw I, the look of this game and these colors. These are very good colors. A lot of gradient banding going on, but it kind of works. I, it seems deliberate. Like, it seems to just be like a shader. Or, uh, something. Alright, let's go to this next void. I guess we're just going to all of the voids. So, how you all doing? You you explored any voids lately? If you know what I mean. I like this ambient stuff. It's not quite music, it's just ambient noise, I guess. This is just ambience. It just doesn't have to be. Our attempts to reach the core have been unsuccessful. The void seems to contain an auto-defense mechanism that instantly transports it out and conceals the structure for a period of time. We may need to conduct material tests to see if we can circumvent the defense mechanism. Hmm. Hello, friend. I am inside you. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. I really like these void spaces. It gives me some kind of vibes of uh, small radios, big televisions, but uh, also very different. Entry log 6. Our material tests have revealed something quite interesting. The structures have survived some sort of intense blast. Whatever the blast was, the void inside the structures were completely unaffected. 
We're still working on finding a way to circumvent the core defense mechanism. So I assume we just wander into all of them and uh, see what's going on. Oh, really good use of colors in this. I I really love the oppressive machiney atmosphere of this particular void. Colors can make a really strong statement, especially when there's very few of them. It's uh, I really wish more games, you know. Try to have a nice focus palette. I mentioned this in Blue Revolver, which, what a different game from this one. Um, but uh, it has a limited palette, and it works really, really well. Um, can I not get into the middle here? Is this the defense mechanism they're talking about? I feel like I'm going in circles. I think I, think I am. Yeah, I don't think I can get into here. Oh, wait. Wait. Here you go. We have managed to identify the cause of the blast. The materials we researched have been traced to an area of space that succumbed to the might of a supernova. I, if these things have survived a supernova, that's pretty impressive. I, I, I kind of doubt the planet would have survived the supernova, but whoop, splurp, not yours. Okay. Um, where's the next one? I think that's the one we already saw, right? Attempts to reach, yeah. Yeah, we already saw this one, so... Hmm, I can't immediately see another one. Yes, yes, let me skip. Ugh. One thing in video games that always bugs me is when you can't skip dialogue and stuff, especially if you've already read it. Like, if you want to be super annoying and, like, absolutely mandate that I spend my time reading a thing, um, you, you do that once. You only get once. Even in a game I really like, even in a game that's, like, slow and moody and stuff, you still gotta be reasonable. You still gotta put the user experience before, you know... Because, I mean, what design goal could you have to force me to read something slowly twice? It's just... You know, it's not a deliberate thing, it's just they only do, you know, they don't expect you to accidentally read it twice. But, but people do that. Especially when you can't tell what a thing is that you've already done. Alright, so I need to go left from the sun, I guess. I'll try to remember that. I really love these sort of things with, like, you know, big worlds, alien geometry. And it's kind of better in the flat, low poly look. It lets your mind fill in the gaps. It gives this really good feel to it. Like, it wouldn't feel the same if it was all realistic and detailed. They might still be good. It might, it, it could still be good, but it would be something entirely different. We've finally been able to breach the def core defense mechanism. What we found was remarkable. A network filled with vast quantities of data, unlike anything we've seen before. This is like alien server rack over here. Check out the rack on this one. Whew. Ooh. I like this rack a lot. It's not Senator Kagura, but pretty nice. It's like blueprint hell. It's like this is what you'd see when you picked up like an engineering student's like notebook paper. Like what? What is this? What have you done? We are now working on to uh, We are now working to uncover what is contained inside the core's data. You're being especially cautious now that we've breached the core. Alright, it's breaching time, my friends. Full on penetrative action. I like how it's like bleeding graph paper from the ceiling. What a good void. I need to see this in my eye holes. I can't see! I, I wanted the graph paper to wash down my face, gently drip across my skin, but no, you can't get close enough for it to do that. We're on a little bridge, I guess. The bridge is also graph paper. We've made another miraculous discovery in the last two minutes. The data contains life! An entire civilization has been preserved inside each structure. Maybe possible to convert the data into physical form. Neato. See, this is actually human. Oh! Wrecked. They don't want to be found. Okay. So left of the sun. Which would have been more useful if I could see the sun. Is the sun behind there? Where is the sun? The sun's too big to be obscured by that, so I'm going to assume it's over here. 
You do kind of lose your bearings once you get teleported back. Alright, the sun is there, so yeah. Wait, where's my ship? Oh, okay. Oh, whoa! I just realized that, that thing is moving, so I guess anything moving would be the next thing to go to. So I see the triangle, I see the Illuminati over there, and I see freaking the Ragnarok space station from Mega Man Zero over here. I keep forgetting there's a run button. It makes a big difference, and yet at the same time, it doesn't. But I'll keep running. Ah! It's very big space here. Right, here we go. I wonder if the, uh, Wait. Yeah, I see three more. So I guess there's three more. At least. Maybe there's one more over. Hard to tell. This is the kind of thing I want in VR, though. I'm not sure how a locomotion would work for a game like this. Like, I honestly haven't had any issues where, like, even analog movement has been an issue. Though I haven't had anything where you're a human and you're controlled purely by analog. Usually that's a no-no. But, like... Drive Club VR gets some people real bad, nausea-wise. It doesn't do anything to me at all. Uh, it felt a little weird. In some cars, like some really claustrophobic cars, I get, like, like you feel a little claustrophobic because you're in a claustrophobic car, but that's about all. I've noticed no entry log this time. Unless I'm missing it. I hope I don't miss it, but... Yep, figured that was a void. Ooh. Oh, I love these landscapes. It's like 2001 a Space Odyssey almost. Alright, so. What you got for me, Mr. Entry Log? We believe the structures were originally intended to protect civilizations from supernova. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. That's all? I mean. I, I kind of gathered that from the last one, buddy. Some really good ambiance in this. Just relaxing. Sometimes you just want a relaxing, nice game. Somebody in when I was streaming um, Slime Rancher was like, "Where's the ad like the adversity in this? Where's the antagonist?" Something went terribly wrong. Our attempts to convert the data into physical form has somehow caused the data to become cor corrupted. Oops, we killed him. Rip. Yeah, so, some sometimes you don't need that. Oh, smashed in the face. Where is our ship? Uh oh. Um. I guess the ship is really the primary reference point. Oh, there we go. I think that's our next one. Oh, here we go. We may have slightly accidentally killed an ancient civilization, but you know, no big. No big. Since the data correction, strange things have started happening. We've had sightings of malformed entities throughout the voids. Ooh. I like where this is going. Let's see some of those malformed entities. Just want to see if there's anything in this crevasse. Nope. I think there's just one more after this one. Fortress of Solitude over here. These ice? Question mark? Crystals? Let's go to the big spire. I'm not always quite sure what to say in a game like this because I it kind of feels like the silence is necessary, but I, I feel dumb not saying anything, and yet at the same time, you're just supposed to breathe it in, so I don't have much to say. But yeah, about about the um, the slime rancher thing, like, like it's, it's, I can appreciate that sometimes. Oh, I was joking about the Illuminati thing, but there you go. Look at that. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the slime rancher thing. Um, sometimes you just want to chill in a game, and I think 
more people should try to like step out of their comfort zone in terms of gaming. And that's kind of part of what this channel is really all about is, you know, finding cool stuff that you might not have seen otherwise. Oh, let's view this before we go in. Many of the corrupted entities we've encountered are hostile. They have suffered mass casualties. Uh oh. We're vasking awaiting all personnel from the planet. That's not good. Well, let's go in anyway. Ooh! Oh, yes! I love, like, surreal grass stuff. Oh, spiky. It really does actually remind me quite a lot of uh, Small Radio's big televisions, the, uh, the TV tape, the, the cassette tape worlds. Oh, it changes colors. Oh, I love this stuff. Our attempts to leave the planet have been thwarted. One of our craft has been shot down by a new structure that appears in the sky. We're evaluating our options. I saw another one over this way. Didn't I? Oh, yeah, here we go. There are only a few of us left now. Maybe a way to enter the sky structure and disable it. If it's anything like the other structures, we can be transported inside. So maybe my final entry. Bones, this may be my final entry. Captain's log. Start eight. We're screwed. Ah oh, yes, needles in my eye holes. Delicious. I think we need to keep going this ways around. Yeah, I think I see the next thing. I was looking forward to meeting the malformed entities, but it seems like they're hostile, so I presume that we're not going to see them. I love just weird glitchy thing, like glitchy AI stuff. That's why, a big part of why I really love uh, Dot Hack, and it really needs to come back. I can't believe. We, 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 there's no stronger evidence that we're in the worst timeline than Sword Art Online is like mega big success and we haven't had dot hack in years. Sigh. So yeah, the whole vagrant AI thing in dot hack and the whole living in a glitchy world is like basically real. Um, really cool stuff. I should play the, the old dot hack, the, the, the PS2 games, uh, Infection, Mutation, Quarantine, um, ooh, I like these floor, and I, I like the flooring you've installed here. Um, those games are a little rough to play, but I think I might, like, stream them sometime or something. I might, oh dang, did you see that? I might cheat or something because of how, uh, like, gameplay-wise, they're pretty rough. I don't know which way to go. But uh, story-wise and the world building, oh, really amazing stuff. There's really not much like it. Ooh, I guess that's the right way to go. Who paid for that floor? Not me. I ain't never paying for no floor ever again. <laughs> no way. So is there no entries in here? I was figuring there'd be some entries. Was that spiky thing? One of the malformed entities, I guess? I was hoping we'd see more of them. Well, into the lion's den. Hello? Oh? Oh! Oh! Splat! Oh, they don't want me in there. So I think I need to keep going left-wise. Towards that big Illuminati pyramid, which, oh, it's not here, is it? There it is! Is this the last one? I haven't seen any others anyway. Yeah, I see green stuff, but I think that's just stationary mountain stuff. Where's my ship? Wasn't my ship in the middle? I mean, it's just obscured by something. There's a, there's a lot of really cool games that I think, like, I always think that maybe I'll stream that and then I don't. I don't 
have a ton of time to stream and I tend to favor short games. Those games are not short. They're very great though. I really wish they would do a remake of those, you know. The, the gameplay would really require some tuning up. But uh, do you take the Dot Hack GU games, the gameplay is fine though. Um, but the story is a bit more anime drama, you know, teen drama y. Uh, it's not bad. They're not bad, but it, it doesn't. It's not quite the same either. Uh, they need the Herald stuff, in my opinion. Dot Hack isn't the same without Herald and uh, the mysteries and stuff. You know, there's still mysteries in GU, but it's not the same. Ooh. Hello. I guess there's the real one. Can I put my face? Yes, put my face in the data. This is what hacking is like, my children. You just gotta go through the mainframe. And these are the firewalls. And uh, right here, this is the Internet of Things, this uh, piss wash that we're walking through. This is this is how you hack with Mirai. Uh oh, we got spotted. I freaking told you it was the Illuminati. I told you. I warned you, dog. Um. Wait. But, but what now? Oh, the sky is different. It's just one of those, I guess. That's our objective. Oh, it's right over a ship. That's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. Looming ominous eyeball gyroscope floating directly over our ship. What could go wrong? Zero, absolutely zero things could go wrong in this particular situation. That is my estimation as the captain of this, like, trash shuttle pot that they sent me to die in. As Ensign McRedshirt34, I estimate there is a probability of 0% that anything will go wrong here. Let's just get back in our ship. I assume those are ones we've already seen. I'll read one, and if it's a repeat, I'll ignore the others. I don't... I think they're just designed to pop up as you, like, approach your first thingy. What do you have to say, my friend? Yep, that's entry log one. Oh, let me skip. Let me skip. Okay. We're just gonna walk up on our thinger dinger. And everything's gonna be fine. I don't know why anyone would have any sort of sense of foreboding dread or anything. That would just be unreasonable. Let's just hop on our ship. Press this. Yeah, use the chair, the pirate, the pilot chair. You just sit in this chair, and your brain is like, go into space, and then it does. Hi, Mr. I, friend. How you doing? I'm sorry that we killed all of your species or whatever. Up. Oh. Well, we found our friends. I'm gonna call that a happy ending. We found all of our friends. Uh, Jacob A. Medina? Drone FX. Uh, it makes sense that Drone FX would be making the music, doesn't it? Thanks for playing at 3D Methods. So yeah, that was Inside the Void, and now we're here forever. <laughs>